Hello, my name is Ervin and I'm part of Rapid's global sales engineering team. Today, I will be showing you how to use our client portal to complete a mass payout. Rapid Mass Payout is a no-code solution that makes it easier to pay employees, contractors, vendors, and distributors. All you have to do is upload a CSP file with the required information, and then you can send payouts to beneficiaries anywhere in the world. Please note that before you can use Rapid Mass Payouts, you must complete the Rapid KYB process. During today's demo, I will cover where to find the mass payout information you need in our documentation, where to find mass payouts in the client portal, how to download a sample mass payout file. I will also explain each column in the CSP file and show you an example file. And finally, I will step you through how to upload the file and how you will be able to see the status of the mass payouts. If you get to the end of this demo and you still have questions, please reach out to rapid at support.rapid.net. Okay, let's get started. To locate mass payout detail documentation, simply go to rapid.net, select developers, docs home, and scroll down. And on the lower left-hand side, you will be able to see the mass payout section. Click on there more, and you will land in the mass payouts or review page. This page will give you all of the details you're gonna need in order to understand the concept of mass payouts and start building files from scratch that you can test and potentially launch into production. In the client portal, log in with your credentials. On the left-hand side menu, scroll first all the way to the bottom and ensure that your portal is set to be in sandbox environment. This will ensure that all of the transactions you will process will be done in our test environment. Select this burst, mass payouts. This will load all of the mass payout files your organization has uploaded. It will give you the status. It will tell you when the file was created and uploaded, the number of transactions the file contain, the number of successful transactions. And if for any reason, any of your transactions fail, you will be able to see the failed transactions as well. You will also see two very important buttons, more actions and create mass payouts. To download a sample file, click on more options or more actions, download a sample file. You will be able to see a combination screen, which is gonna give you fields that are important in order to build the sample file for you. Those fields, are regarding beneficiary information, sender information, and the payout information you're gonna need for your transactions. The beneficiary from country, you have to select the country where the mass payout will go to. In this case, and for demo purposes, I'm gonna send these payouts to Brazil. So select Brazil. The currency, I want, my I want my beneficiaries to receive these mass payouts in local currency. I will select Brazilian real. The entity type is going to be individuals. The sender information, you have to select the country. In this case, I'm based in the United States. The currency, US dollar. And the entity type, I'm building this file on behalf of my company. So I select company. The payout information is going to give me the options I'm going to have available to send the payouts. In this particular case, I'm going to send the payouts via bank transfer. So I select bank. For the metal type, you have to select the bank where you want to send the transactions to, or the banks. In this case, I'm going to send I'm going to send them to Citibank in Brazil. The base currency is going to be Brazilian real. Click on that, and you will be able to see some of the fields that are already pre-populated for you on the sample file. Click on download. This is going to download the sample file for you, open the file. And for this particular demo, I have already pre-populated um, additional required data that you're gonna need to obtain in order to process a test transaction through the mass payout process. The beneficiary country is the ISO country code, in this case, Brazil. 
the payout method is going to be Brazil Citibank, which is the bank I want to send this transaction to. They send their country, I'm based in the US, is US. Send their currency, USD. The sender entity type, I'm sending on behalf of my company, so it's company. Payout currency is Brazilian real. Payout amount, the amount you want to disperse or to push to your beneficiary. The beneficiary entity type, I'm sending to an individual. The e-wallet, this is an important piece of data you're gonna to need to obtain in order to process the mass payout file. You can obtain the e-wallet information by going to your client portal, my account, account details, and the name of your wallet detail will be the wallet you want, the wallet ID you want to copy and paste. You just paste it in this particular field. Beneficiary bank branch code. This is information you, you need to obtain from your beneficiary in Brazil. The beneficiary account number, beneficiary first name, beneficiary last name, the beneficiary identification value. In the case of Brazil, this equals to the CPF number. In other countries, the ID number or length might be different. For Brazil, it's 11 digits. Confirm automatically, always set to true. Once you have completed, and you can add additional records, you can always add as many transactions as you wish to your test file. Once you have completed filling out all of the information, simply download the file, ensure that it's downloaded on a CSV format, go to your client portal, Disburse, mass payouts. And this time you're going to click on create mass payouts. In this particular screen, you're going to select the file you just downloaded with your transaction information. Start upload. This action will automatically kick off the processing of the file. We will automatically identify the number of transactions that are included in the file. We will also tell you the successful transactions. And if for any reason, any of your transactions fail, we will tell you the number of failed transactions as well. If you want to see additional information, simply click on this three dot menu, see more details. And here you will be able to see additional information. In this case, the payout ID that was created at the time the transaction was generated, the amount, when the transaction was created, and the status of the transaction. In this case, it's a success. If you want to see even more detail about the transaction uh, or the payout you just uploaded or the payouts you just uploaded, go to Disperse, Payouts, and here you will be able to see each one of the transactions you uploaded through the mass payout file. Right, The status of the file, is going to be created because we just created that transaction. This status will change when the transaction is successfully delivered to the customer bank account. The amount received, the amount sent in the chosen amount, in this case I chose US dollar, and if I want to see additional information or additional actions, I just click on this three dot menu, I can recreate the payout, I can cancel the payout, or I can see more details. Here you will be able to see detailed information about your mass payouts. You will also receive an email with a link that is going to route you back to the client portal and is going to show you the status and the details about your mass payouts. Thank you very much for watching this demo. I hope that you found it to be informative and helpful. If you have any questions, please reach out to rapid at support.rapid.net. Thank you very much.